So for today, we're going to be checking out my Guardians for the Xur's Exotic Dare that I do each week. Uh, this one was pretty rough considering it was not, not only it was pure arms, so RIP Warlocks, but it also uses one exotic that I've already used in the past. Uh, I did switch the armor out, so it is actually armor that I haven't used. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to start off with the Hunter, then Titan, and the Warlock, obviously. If you guys enjoy these videos, let me know in the comments below. I enjoy making them, mostly because it helps me stretch out my fashion and limbs, so to speak. And they're just a lot of fun. I really do enjoy the fashion in this game. I wish the uh, synth strands... Uh, limit was lifted just because there's a lot of stuff that i like to i would like to use and i'm out for almost everyone aside from the warlocks but you know that's a conversation that will always be had and probably will always be had uh, knowing bungee so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help the channel grow really does help me feel a lot better about making this content and other than that let's get started so for the hunters we have the uh, the young Ahamkara spine this is definitely one of my favorite exotics in the game uh aesthetically it just looks really cool uh the actual exotic itself it's fine uh i've popped off with it in the past and it's fun so you're probably gonna think you're probably gonna be thinking like wow this hunter looks really bland and i'm gonna give it to you guys i yeah the main reason why i made my hunter the way he is is because uh, the, the young Ahamkara spines for me is a very hunter exotic like you think of like skull f uh like the insurmountable skull fort you immediately think that's a hunter that's a titan super titan like big titan uh it's the same thing with the the hunters for young Ahamkara spine so for me the most logical spot for me was to immediately go for like really classic hunter looks which is why I'm using the Prodigal Vest, the Contender Mask, which is a very Hunter Helm, the Wildwood Strides, which is, again, another very Hunter. Uh, just a anything that's lo that looks super iconic for a Hunter, I immediately put it on this because I feel like the Ahankara Spine really does well with it. Uh, the old spines definitely looks cool, but I like the fact that the the ornament the augmented wish actually changes the shader of the bones which is why i actually use it a lot more so again using the contender uh mask this one was from what was it guardian games uh year two because i didn't like the year one armor and i definitely recommend this whole armor set it's super cool the spine obviously with the ornament i really do like this ornament and the actual exotic is pretty cool as well for the chest piece we have the prodigal vest you can still get you can still get this if i remember correctly definitely one of my favorite chest piece so much so that uh the cosplay that i'm thinking about making is actually incorporating this chest piece because it's it's, it's such a like when you think of a hunter this chess piece is like immediately one of the things i think about uh for the boots we have the wildwood strides these are definitely one of my favorite boots one of my favorite armor sets in the in the game for the hunter specifically just because it's really cool and it was either it was either the wildwood strides or the outlanders uh steps just because this is really good although i probably would have switched out of even darker color for this so like maybe is this one no this one no which one is it this one i like the black i just don't like the blue like that really irks me probably like this although i don't like the like the very brownish not brown but it's a really weird off black that which is like one of the reasons why i don't use that one so i would have just used a, a really darker black for for these legs which is why i chose this one because it gives me that really black look uh last but not least i have the neoteric kiat uh, cloak which is definitely one of my favorites and definitely a cloak that I can crutch out like really hard with but I really did think that the ne 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 neoteric uh, cloak with the uh, chest piece they go hand in hand together they look perfect which is funny considering that that chest piece is almost like similar or this chest the the other this the neoteric chest piece is almost like exactly alike so that's really funny T hunters let me know what you guys think i definitely love this look it's very basic don't get me wrong but i wanted to go for a very hunter feel because if i wanted to go for like either like dinosaur or augmented like cybernetic type thing i could have easily done something like this 
which I was thinking about making, but I was like, I eh, really don't give two shits. Uh, where is it? Like this one probably be the best. And then for the cloak, probably like this one, which not really. Maybe this one, just because of the hose. But then again, no. Maybe this one, and then like just a different shader. So something like this. Like something like this would have been pretty cool considering like I know I'm wearing two of the same cloak and uh, chest piece but the wires really do give that feel and overall I something like this would have been really cool. I can definitely show you the dinosaur armor that I made with the Ahamkara spines which is nothing too crazy. It's literally actually yeah it's just this actually. So it's literally this. This is another piece that I had. I know I'm showing you three right now, which is probably something I'm going to regret later. But it's just to show you that, like, I had other things planned. This one specifically, I had this one uh, for the Halloween stuff. So if you guys remember, I actually did use this for the Halloween. Oh, no, no, not this one specifically. I had another arms. But, yeah, this is something else I've, I've done before. So, yeah, uh, the only reason I, st I sticked with what I like is because I, I like it. <laughs> it looks cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hunters, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and we'll be right next to the Titan. So, for the Titans, we have the Ursa Furiosas again. This one was, uh, we got this one, what, two weeks ago? So, for when I saw them, I was like, ah, that kind of sucks because I already have them. But I can use the ornaments, I guess. And then after that, if they come back, when they come back again, then I'll just make another armor set around it. Uh, it's not that hard. It's just this one specifically. Is pretty funny to me because I'm using like two pieces of an armor set that I'm doing for another video uh, which is called the Iron Lords uh, let me know which, which pieces you guys think it is in the comments below I don't think you guys will guess aside from maybe one piece but let's start off with the helmet the helmet is the devastation complex helmet this is definitely one of my favorite helmets in the game uh, actually the devastation complex for the Titans is just my favorite armor set in the game ever it's one of my favorites i've been rocking it since destiny 2 of year one so it's definitely an armor set that i've always loved which is why i crutch on it a lot for my titan uh, you guys probably would see like me using the chest piece a lot the legs i use quite a bit as well and the helmet i rarely use the arms i rarely use as well but i still have them unlocked and the mark is like the only thing i never use because the mark is actually bad so definitely one of my favorite helmets in the game uh i might like this one a little bit more than the actual pvp one not that one that's the the ornament this one right here it's it's not bad it's just i appreciate that this one's just all one color so uh as for the arms again we're using the ursa furiosa ornaments the ursa uh what's it called the ursus Mar maritimus maritimus it's one of my favorite ornaments for this well i mean it's the only ornament but it's one of my favorite ornaments in general because of how just cool it is it's a white fur this purple doesn't change color unfortunately but i still think it's really good also if you hear the air in the background i do apologize but i live in florida and it's really hot so chess piece we are using the season of the splicer chess piece i forget what these this chess piece is actually called what is it the lightkin plate it's super cool i'm so sad that i don't have any more synth weave plates because i would have i would have scooped this it looks so cool now granted for people who don't like asymmetrical looks like myself this will kill you this will legitimately be like i fucking hate this armor which granted i hate it too but if you do want to rock it because i really fucking love the fur in the back then I suggest you go through all the shaders, see if there's any shaders that like at least look like they're somewhat close because there are a few shaders that look somewhat close. Uh, I'm not gonna go through them all. Like this one specifically, it's not exactly the same because this is a little bit more chrome, but it's passable in my eyes. There's one specifically that the whole thing is almost the same color, if not this one right here. So I don't think I can spot the difference aside from like maybe this weird pattern here. But other than that, the shader looks almost, it's actually identical if I'm being quite honest. Maybe this one's a little bit darker, but again, like this looks fucking cool. So much so that like, I really, really want to put this, 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 uh, this shader on it, but I'd be losing out on the white fur up here, which is like the whole reason why I combined it with this, with the arms. 
So, yeah, that's like the the only good shader that it, it, it that goes well with this chest piece. There's other ones as well. Not gonna lie to you guys, but it's definitely one of those situations where you're just gonna have to keep doing this to see which one looks good to you. And let me let me tell you guys right now, it's really annoying. Like this, all one shader. That's pretty cool. But I personally don't like that, the rusted look on it. So that's why I don't like it. Uh, for the boots, we have this season's, uh, uh, what's it called? Hey, God damn it, dude. Uh, <laughs> it is the Pathfinder Greaves. So this one was really weird and also kind of hate that I don't have synthweave plates because this is also one I would immediately scoop up. This actually is one of my favorite boots in the game right now just because it, it gives the titan such a cool look uh so yeah I, this is another piece where i'm like i will definitely once once uh we get more more synth weave bounties which is i think like uh during the the 30th anniversary i'm definitely gonna scoop that scoop that up the the legs and the chest piece immediately are gonna get scooped up because they look so good uh and that's honestly that's the only reason why I put these because it gives it such a sl more slender look. If the shoulders were a little bit smaller, I'd say this is a perfect armor set. Last but not least, I have the Lux Mark, which is from Season of the Worthy. It's definitely one of my favorite uh, marks in the game. This one for sure is one of my favorite marks just because it covers such a big piece of, le of the leg. It looks super cool in my opinion. Uh, if you are wondering, I was thinking about using the... I actually have it unlocked this one right here just for the extra fur but unfortunately i don't like this up here it, it looks really weird so but if you are interested in using the fur for the cloak you can use this one as well you just have to make sure that you can find something that's white here and white up here which is a bitch i'm gonna tell you right now because both of them uh usually like to change shaders a lot something like this like that's blue but that's also not blue that's like yellow so you're gonna be you're gonna be battling that a little bit, which is unfortunate because I could just I just I would rather it just be like one color, really. But that's pretty much it. Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this one was a lot of fun. This one took me like maybe five minutes because I already knew kind of like what I was was going for. I wanted I did I knew I wanted to combine it with some fur, and this one was just kind of like a no brainer. And I really wish we had more fur armor sets because the video that I'm making kind of. You don't need a lot of fur, but fur really helps for that identity that I'm looking for. But yeah, uh, Warlocks, you are up next. And after that, I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, for the Warlocks, we have the Aeon Soul. And these, so these is pretty cool because I immediately knew that I was going to combine this with this chest piece. But I didn't think it was going to look this cool because uh, I did it. I forgot that uh, the Aeon Swifts, the color actually does change color the the this the fuse whatever it's called so immediately i was like i want to get a really good color for this and the reason i'm using gambit jade stone is because for some reason the gambit jade stone glows are way more profound like i don't know why but they're a lot more brighter like so much a lot more brighter they're a lot brighter than uh than all other shaders so that's why you get that really really deep glow which is why i love these man i the the only thing i don't like is the boots but even then like we'll, we'll get to we'll go, okay we'll get to it so for the helmet we're using the vog helmet this is a really good helmet if you're trying to go for an electrical cyborg augmented augmented look although i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one probably would have been one that i would have chosen over it just because that bright ass green specifically not even that one because i don't like the ornament for that one uh this one oh my god that one look at that dude i look like a fucking lighthouse like look at this this is wild uh it's a little too much in my opinion but i mean whatever but yeah that is there if you want to do that uh i think this one would have been a little bit better maybe maybe but either way i it's not it's not i'm not, I'm not saying that the vog helmet's bad or anything i actually do like it a lot but it's just kind of like a I, of course you use that helmet type feel uh, for the arms, it's Aeon Swift, like I said, really good with this whole armor set, in my opinion. Uh, the reason I use this chest piece is because, A, it's a very electrical augmentation type thing, which is what I was going for. 
and the glows actually was another re big reason uh originally the aeons come with the red glow so i was like i'll just go with the red glow me forgetting that red glow is like really annoying to get in this game because most shaders will either do yellow orange or some sort of like orangey red it's not completely red only some shaders do like complete red so it was either red blue or green and i didn't want to do blue so i just decided to do green and thank god i did because this is really good uh again i i love this chest piece and i hate it at the same time i would have much preferred if all of these like weird hoses were not like at least this material just because they look like they look like sausages bro for the legs it is the uh deep stone crypt legs these the reason I don't like these is because I really wish that these legs had some glow, like maybe across the wiring and stuff, because they just like they look kind of boring, if I'm being quite honest. Not only that, if I really wanted to, I could have done uh, the reverse of this. So I could have done something like this one with the with the Deep Stone Crypt uh, body. I could have done something like this, but then you lose out on the glows and you have a lot of colors that are just like everywhere like the red here the red here the purple here the red here the all the purple here and then the the fuck ton of colors in here it's just yeah this this chess piece is just doo-doo butter in my opinion uh but you could have also done something with this one right here which i think would have been okay but again you lose out on the wiring colors which i think is vital uh because it almost looks like the wire is like power and it's powering up the Aeon Swifts. Uh, so yeah, I would have much preferred some electrical lighting down here because I'm, I can't use something like this or something like this because it ma this makes no sense. There's It glows, but it like thematically, it just does not make sense. Like these boots make more sense thematically because I'm going for, for a cybernetic type thing. Um, so this actually makes a lot more sense. Last but not least, we have the Pathfinder Mark or Bond, which is a little weird. Most people would think just because uh, like why it has no electrical thing, but I actually like it because it makes sense with all of the pointy bits here and then the pointy bits here. If there was a little bit of glow at the end, oh my God, it would have been perfect. But overall, I actually do like this look a lot. Uh, if I was using Aeon Swifts, this would be a look I would combine it with. And I actually, yeah, I fuck with this a lot. Let me know what you get. Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I think this looks super dope. Uh, I think this is way better than the Controverse Hold um, build that I did with almost the exact same armor sets. Uh, because again, Warlocks unfortunately suffer from just having shitty arm exotics like most of them do, do not look this good in my opinion Most of them are just like eh, they're there they exist But these I think do really well with this whole armor set So that's pretty much it hunters. Let me know what you guys thought about your armor set warlocks Let me know what you guys thought about your armor set and titans. Let me know what you guys thought about your armor set I will be doing videos about the whole changes to pvp I'll be doing that video. I'll be doing some other videos as well. A lot of faction stuff I have uh, for the, for those of you who have actually stayed at the end. I will give you not a glimpse, but I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. So let me go through my list because I have a list. It's not that big. So I have in the schedule some fashion videos that will be an Iron Lord set, which is Iron Banner themed. Uh, a vex armor set theme which obviously it's a vex iron or vex armor theme and then the last one is going to be a fallen slash scavenger theme which i combined those two just because the fallen are scavengers but that's why i don't know that it makes sense to me in my head so we'll have those videos probably coming up before the the 30th anniversary and then after the 30th anniversary we'll go buck wild with oh my god like reviews uh, uh just a bunch of stuff the 30th anniversary you guys are going to see a lot of stuff that you guys like specifically people who have uh subscribed for my own my only my fashion stuff i do stuff other than fashion in my channel which i haven't been doing in a while so once the once the 30th anniversary comes, I definitely will get back into the rut of making like weapon reviews, uh, activity reviews, just in general, because fashion, I want fashion to be a big portion of my channel, but not the only portion in my channel, if that makes any sense. 
so i thank you guys for coming up to this point i really do appreciate it when people come up to this point i appreciate it more if you actually comment in the comments below uh subscribe helps a lot and be safe and i will see you guys later